Section six of English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Shalifa Mollichem. English synonyms and antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. A lot to ambition. A lot. Synonyms. A point. A portion. A sign. A board. Destin. Distribute. Divide. Give. Grant. Meet out. Portion out. Select. Set apart. A lot. Originally to assign by lot applies to the giving of a definite thing to a certain person. A portion or extent of time is allotted, as I expect to live out my allotted time. A definite period is appointed, as the audience assembled at the appointed hour. A lot may also refer to space, as to a lot a plot of ground for a cemetery. But we now often use select, set apart, or assign. A lot is not now used of persons. A point may be used of time, space, or person, as the appointed day, the appointed place, an officer was appointed to this station. Destin may also refer to time, place, or person, but it always has reference to what is considerably in the future. A man appoints to meet his friend in five minutes. He destines his son to follow his own profession. A sign is rarely used of time, but rather of places, persons, or things. We assign a work to be done, and assign a man to do it, who, if he fails, must assign a reason for not doing it. That which is allotted, appointed, or assigned, is more or less arbitrary. That which is awarded is a due requital of something the receiver has done, and he has a right and a claim to it, as the medal was awarded for valour. Compare a portion. Antonyms. Appropriate. Confiscate. Deny. Resume. Retain. Seize. Withhold. Prepositions. A lot to a company for a purpose. Allow. Synonyms. Admit. Concede. Consent to. Grant. Let. Permit. Sanction. Suffer. Tolerate, yield. We allow that which we do not attempt to hinder. We permit that to which we give some express authorization. When this is given verbally, it is called permission. When in writing, it is commonly called a permit. There are establishments that anyone will be allowed to visit without challenge or hindrance. There are others that no one is allowed to visit without a permit from the manager. There are others to which visitors are admitted at specified times without a formal permit. We allow a child's innocent intrusion. We concede a right, grant a request, consent to a sale of property, permit an inspection of accounts, sanction a marriage, tolerate the rudeness of a well-meaning servant, submit to a surgical operation, yield to demand or necessity against our wish or will, or yield something under compulsion, as the sheriff yielded the keys at the muzzle of a revolver, and allowed the mob to enter. Suffer, in the sense of mild concession, is now becoming rare, its place being taken by allow, permit, or tolerate. Compare permission. Antonyms. Deny. Disallow. Disapprove. Forbid. Protest. Refuse. Reject, resist, withstand. See also synonyms for prohibit. Prepositions. To allow of, in best recent usage, simply to allow, such an action. Allow one in such a cause. Allow for spending money. Alloy. Synonyms. Admixture, adulteration, debasement, deterioration. Alloy may be either some admixture of baser with precious metal, as for giving hardness to coin or the like, or it may be a compound or mixture of two or more metals. Adulteration 
debasement, and deterioration are always used in the bad sense. Admixture is neutral, and may be good or bad. Alloy is commonly good in the literal sense. An excess of alloy virtually amounts to adulteration, but adulteration is now mostly restricted to articles used for food, drink, medicine, and kindred uses. In the figurative sense, as applied to character, etc., alloy is unfavorable, because there the only standard is perfection. Allude, synonyms, advert, hint, imply, indicate, insinuate, intimate, mention, point, refer, signify, suggest. Advert, mention, and refer are used of language that more or less distinctly utters a certain thought, the others of language from which it may be inferred. We allude to a matter slightly, perhaps by word or phrase, as it were in by-play. We advert to it when we turn from our path to treat it. We refer to it by any clear utterance that distinctly turns the mind or attention to it, as marginal figures refer to a parallel passage. We mention a thing by explicit word, as by naming it. The speaker adverted to the recent disturbances and the remissness of certain public offices. Though he mentioned no name, it was easy to see to whom he alluded. One may hint at a thing in a friendly way, but what is insinuated is always unfavourable, generally both hostile and cowardly. One may indicate his wishes, intimate his plans, imply his opinion, signify his will, suggest a course of action. Compare suggestion. Preposition. The passage evidently alludes to the Jewish Passover. Allure. Synonyms. Attract. Cajole. Captivate. Coax. Decoy. Draw. Entice. Invago. Lure. Seduce. Tempt. Win. To allure is to draw, as was allure, by some charm or some prospect of pleasure or advantage. We may attract others to a certain thing without intent, as the good unconsciously attract others to virtue. We may allure either to that which is evil, or to that which is good and noble, by purpose and endeavour, as in the familiar line, allure to brighter worlds and let the way. Goldsmith Deserted Village, line 170. Lure is rather more akin to the physical nature. It is a word we would use of drawing on an animal. Coax expresses the attraction of the person, not of the thing. A man may be coaxed to that which is by no means alluring. Cajole and decoy carry the idea of deceiving and ensnaring. To inveigle is to lead one blindly in. To tempt is to endeavour to lead one wrong. To seduce is to succeed winning one from good to ill. Win may be used in either a bad or a good sense, in which latter it surpasses the highest sense of allure, because it succeeds in that which allure attempts, as he that winneth souls is wise. Proverbs 11.30 Antonyms Chill, damp, deter, Dissuade, drive away, repel, warn. Prepositions. Allure to a cause, allure by hopes, allure from evil to good. Also, synonyms, as well, as well as, besides, in addition, in like manner, likewise, similarly, to, with all. While some distinctions between these words and phrases will appear to the careful student, yet in practice the choice between them is largely to secure euphony and avoid repetition. The words fall into two groups, as well as, besides, in addition, to, withal, simply add a fact or thought. Also, also, in like manner, likewise, similarly, I found that what is added is like that to which it is added. As well follows the word or phrase to which it is joined. 
We can say the singers as well as the players, or the players and the singers as well. Antonyms, but, in spite of, nevertheless, notwithstanding, on the contrary, on the other hand, yet. Alternative, synonyms, choice, election, option, pick, preference, resource. A choice may be among many things. An alternative is, in the strictest sense, a choice between two things. Oftener it is one of two things between which a choice is to be made, and either of which is the alternative of the other, as the alternative of surrender is death, or the two things between which if there is a choice may be called the alternatives. Both Mill and Gladstone are quoted as extending the meaning of alternative to include several particulars. Gladstone even speaking of the fourth and last of these alternatives. Option is a right or privilege of choosing. Choice may be either the right to choose, the act of choosing, or the thing chosen. A person of ability and readiness will commonly have many resources. Pick from the Saxon, and election from the Latin, picture the objects before one with freedom and power to choose which he will, as, there were twelve horses, among which I could take my pick. A choice, pick, election, or preference is that which suits one best. An alternative is that to which one is restricted. A resource, that to which one is glad to betake oneself. Antonyms. Compulsion, necessity. Amass. Synonyms. Accumulate. Aggregate. Collect, gather, heap up, hoard, hoard up, pile up, store up. To amass is to bring together materials that make a mass a great bulk or quantity. With some occasional exceptions, accumulate is applied to the more gradual, amass to the more rapid gathering of money or materials. A mass referring to the general result or bulk accumulate to the particular process or rate of gain. We say interest is accumulated, or accumulates, rather than is amassed. He accumulated a fortune in the course of years. He rapidly amassed a fortune by shrewd speculations. Goods or money for immediate distribution are said to be collected rather than amassed. They may be stored up for a longer or shorter time, but a hoard is always with a view of permanent retention, generally selfish. Aggregate is now most commonly used of numbers and amounts, as the expenses will aggregate around a million. Antonyms Disperse, dissipate, divide, parcel, portion, scatter, spend, squander, waste. Prepositions Amass for oneself for a purpose, from a distance, with great labour, by industry. Amateur, synonyms, connoisseur, critic, dilettante, novice, tyro. Etymologically, the amateur is one who loves, the connoisseur one who knows. In usage, the term amateur is applied to one who pursues any study or art simply from the love of it. The word carries a natural implication of superficialness, though marked excellence is at times attained by amateurs. A connoisseur is supposed to be so thoroughly informed regarding any art or work as to be able to criticize or select intelligently and authoritatively. There are many incompetent critics, but there cannot, in the true sense, be an incompetent connoisseur. The amateur practices to some extent that in regard to which he may not be well informed. The connoisseur is well informed in regard to that which he may not practice at all. A novice or tyro may be a professional, an amateur never is. The amateur may be skilled and experienced, as a novice or tyro never is. Dilettante, which had originally the sense of amateur, has to some extent come to denote one who is superficial, pretentious, and affected, whether in theory or practice. Preposition. An amateur in art. Amazement. 
synonyms, admiration, astonishment, awe, bewilderment, confusion, perplexity, surprise, wonder. Amazement and astonishment both express the momentary overwhelming of the mind by that which is beyond expectation. Astonishment especially affects the emotions. Amazement the intellect. All is a yielding of the mind to something supremely grand in character, or formidable in power, and ranges from apprehension or dread to reverent worship. Admiration includes delight and regard. Surprise lies midway between astonishment and amazement, and usually respects matter of lighter consequence, or such as are less startling in character. Amazement may be either pleasing or painful, as when induced by the grandeur of the mountains, or by the fury of the storm. We can say please surprise, but scarcely please astonishment. Amazement has in it something of confusion or bewilderment, but confusion and bewilderment may occur without amazement, as when a multitude of details require instant attention. Astonishment may be without bewilderment or confusion. Wonder is often pleasing, and may be continuous in view of that which surpasses our comprehension, as the magnitude, order, and beauty of the heavens fill us with increasing wonder. Compare perplexity. Antonyms. Anticipation. Calmness. Composure. Coolness. Expectation. Indifference. Preparation. Self-possession. Steadiness. Stoicism. Preposition. I was filled with amazement at such reckless daring. Ambition. Synonyms. Aspiration. Competition. Emulation. Opposition. Rivalry. Aspiration is a desire for excellence, pure and simple. Ambition, literally a going around to solicit votes, has primary reference to the award or approval of others, and is the eager desire of power, fame, or something deemed great and eminent, and viewed as a worthy prize. The prizes of aspiration are virtue, nobility, skill, or rather high qualities. The prizes of ambition are advancement, fame, honour, and the like. There is a noble and wise, or an ignoble, selfish, and harmful ambition. Emulation is not so much to win any excellence or success for itself, as to equal or surpass other persons. There is such a thing as a noble emulation, when those we would equal or surpass are noble, and the means we would use worthy. But at the highest, emulation is inferior as a motive to aspiration, which it seeks a high quality or character for its own sake, not with reference to another. Competition is a striving for something that is sought by another at the same time. Emulation regards the abstract, competition the concrete. Rivalry is the same in essential meaning with competition, but differs in the nature of the objects contested for, which, in the case of rivalry, are usually of the nobler sort, and less subject to direct gauging, measurement, and rule. We speak of competition in business, emulation in scholarship, rivalry in love, politics, etc. Emulation of excellence, success, achievement, competition for a prize, rivalry between persons or nations. Competition may be friendly, rivalry is commonly hostile. Opposition is becoming a frequent substitute for competition in business language. It implies that a competitor is an opponent and hinderer. Antonyms Carelessness, contentment, humility, indifference, satisfaction. End of section six.